Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. 41 Sky View in Centerville is presented by the House and County Gallery. A blanket of clouds overhead, luckily not seeing any smoke from buildings on fire. And of course, continuing to see new buildings being built. 59 degrees right now, nice and humid at 88 percent with a five mile per hour wind coming in from the north northeast. Again, a lot of activity rain is picking up more now as we progress later into the afternoon. We are seeing more showers moving in now towards Crawford and to Monroe counties as well. Still a couple in Hancock as well. It's really just going to be isolated showers throughout the day, mainly in our northern counties and the cloud covers mainly in the northern and central counties as well. Seeing a bit of sun further south leading to more heat, which results in a warm spot of 78 in McRae. We'll top off at 65 in Roberta and in Macon. And the models seem to agree with this in terms of the showers in our northern counties throughout much of the day. That being said, we I'm still expecting some scattered shower activity to make it through most of the region as we go through the evening and early overnight hours tonight, but not a whole lot of rain is going to come out of that. And it should be light for the majority of us, if not all of us. Rolling into tomorrow morning, got plenty of wind coming in from the south southwest. It's going to keep things nice and warm. Gusts can reach upwards of 25 miles per hour, and the cold front is going to be passing through throughout the first half of the day. Still in some of our eastern counties by the time we reach noon and while there may not be a whole lot of heat, we'll be in the 50s and then the low 60s pushing towards the 70s as we get towards lunchtime. There still unfortunately is a bit of a severe weather threat with that, which we'll highlight here in just a second. After that, really just going to remain cloudy for the most part until we get into Thursday morning. And then that's when a flash flooding threat is going to become a concern, especially in our southern counties that really haven't seen that rain so far this week as widespread heavy rain takes over. We will stay rather warm heading into tomorrow morning. I already mentioned that again, upper 50s, low 60s out the door tomorrow. You want a raincoat or an umbrella, but you don't need any winter gear. It is a level one risk for tomorrow's severe weather threat that does include all of middle Georgia. Unlike yesterday when it was just the northern counties, the primary threat is going to be gusty winds and some heavy rain as that cold front moves through. However, there is still unfortunately the possibility of a spin up tornado. So again, we'll be following that as it goes on tomorrow morning. I really don't think we're going to have really any chance in terms of hail. We're going to go ahead now and take a peek at your seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's VolumeChevrolet.com. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast is presented by Volume Chevrolet. As you can see, still a lot of rain chances throughout this week. By the time we're done, most of us around middle Georgia are going to be somewhere between three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half of rain by the time we get into the weekend. The cold front Friday, there isn't a severe weather risk yet. However, it's been highlighted as a potential, so something we'll be watching. Powerful winds will follow that cold front as we get into Saturday. And then on Sunday, don't forget to set your clocks forward.